Now let's look at the language learning on Apple Vision Pro. Language learning. So now I'm going to show you the Apple Vision Pro language learning apps that I found. The first one is Grammatico. It's uh, more like a traditional Spanish textbook with grammar lessons and quizzes. And you can also see a bit of how I navigate around the uh, App Store here in the Vision Pro. And that you see a bit of my uh, desk that's just appearing behind uh, these windows. And there's the app description. Lots of grammar. Next is uh, Korean Lessons Plus. So most of these apps are where you see panels basically around the room in front of you and uh, you interact almost like traditional learning materials, but um, in real space around you. Yep. So this one teaches you the Korean alphabet and uh, some of the language as well. So study snacks is uh, has an idea. It's sort of like flashcards, but instead the uh, all the data is around you like bubbles. So this is much more of a proper mixed reality experience rather than just uh, taking an old flat screen concept and uh, putting it in your space. And generally a lot of issue is that people just don't know yet how to leverage this, the VR space, MR space, whatever you want to call it, for language learning. So it's really the infancy of the technology here. Next we have Flippy with Learn Flashcards. So, as you would expect, it's a flashcards app. So it sort of like has some elements that you might have seen in, say, Anki with uh, space repetition, but uh, it seems to me like it's uh, less sophisticated, but uh, nevertheless interesting. And I apologize, I haven't had a chance really to try out um, many of these apps at all, because, um, well, for one thing, I still don't have um, contact lenses to uh, be able to see clearly in the uh, headset. And also, it's just, uh, I've had very limited time, basically one day to look at this stuff and then uh, try to present about it. That's why I'm just going through the store and uh, showing the apps as they are in the store. I will give you one quick demo at the end. So here's a hiragana app about uh, learning how to read this Japanese script. It also looks pretty interesting. This actually looks like a pretty interesting way to learn hiragana and uh, even goes into depth with it. I personally don't know any Japanese, so I can't uh, judge it. <laughs> it looks like they're taking the effort to really push it to the um, Vision Pro platform. Here we have Glisten for language podcasts. Different uh, language learning materials in here in audio form. And I think it's fascinating how the, all these apps seem to use very different approaches. And I mean, Apple Vision Pro has also been out for like a month and a half, so... It's kind of amazing it even has this many apps to begin with. Uh, Spatial Tale is uh, uh, basically fairy tales in different languages. It's a way you could learn with stories. And I think even 3D stories and it supports 15 languages. So this also looks like a pretty interesting uh, app. AR Lingo, which is the one app I'll show you in a moment, which you basically get to 
cartoon conversation partner and then you uh, join the conversation with them and it does it uses voice recognition to uh, help you learn So here this uh, turtle that's floating above my desk is going to teach me a language. So I decided, you know what, I just said I don't know any Japanese, so let's pick Japanese. Let's pick intro. Konnichiwa. 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 お元気ですか元気です。元気です。はじめまして。またあとで。おはよう。So, yeah, you can see it. Uh... Also, misses the voice. I mean, it says it's wrong if you miss the prompt. Then you can choose different characters that you want to learn a language from. That's pretty cool. I like the creativity of it. Then we've got um, five languages to choose from here. Now that we've seen the surface of what can be done with language learning in VR, we welcome you to join us for the International Symposium about Virtual Reality and Language Learning taking place at the Esperanto Stazio in uh, Halba, Germany, just outside Berlin, at a renovated train station that's been turned into an event center. They were gathering experts from both the VR field as well as language learning experts and enthusiasts to come together to discuss the potential for the future of language learning and immersive technologies. So I hope to see you there. And just before the symposium, we are organizing the seminar about VR in Esperanto. So from the 22nd to the 24th, you can uh, come join us and uh, get, dive deeper into these topics of just generally everything about education in VR. More details and registration can be found at vr-mondo.com for both of these events. And I hope to see you there.